All right, welcome. It's time now to start multiplying a matrix by another matrix. And usually students think this is very confusing. Yeah? And I don't agree with them. Yeah? I do agree you have to take a little bit more care of your work, okay? But this is not difficult. Okay, I'll show you how to do it. In the next uh, two videos, I'll give you some more example questions. Yeah? First of all, this is a three by two matrix, yeah? three rows, two columns, and the next matrix is a two by two matrix, all right? And you are only able to multiply matrices with each other if those two middle numbers are the same, a two there and a two there. So I am able to multiply these matrices. And what I always tell my students is, you go from one matrix to the other matrix, so you go horizontally first, okay, and then you drop down in the second matrix, so you go vertically there. What do I mean with that? Doesn't make sense, does it? Okay, maybe not yet, but it will in a minute. Okay, I'm gonna make some big brackets now, because this is what you're supposed to do. I'm gonna start at five, yeah? And I do five times one, you see that? Five times one, I'm multiplying five times one. I'll put it in brackets because I have to do plus, I'm going horizontally and vertically here, two times three. And then plus two times three. Okay, so again, five times one plus two times three. But I have another column over there. So again, horizontally in the first one, vertically in the second one, five times two. So that is a new position. Five times two plus no, yeah. two times four. Two times four. All right, finished. I drop now, yeah, because I've done both of them, and I do the same thing, horizontally here, vertically there. Three times one, three times one, plus four times three. Four times three, yeah? And I do, for my second piece of information on that particular row, three times two, three times two, plus four times four, four times four, okay? And finally, I drop to my last row, yeah? Zero times one, zero times one, plus one times three, one times three, and zero point, sorry, zero times two, did I say point a minute ago? I mean times, I apologize, plus one times four, one times four, okay? So, Horizontally first, yeah, you go into the next matrix and there you drop, you go vertically, okay? So what is eventually my answer? I'll just put it here, yeah? Now I've got to work out all these pieces of information. I will have one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of information. Five times one is five plus two times three is six. So five plus six, I'll put an 11 there. Five times two is 10 plus two times four is eight. 10 plus eight is gonna be 18. Three times one is three, plus four times three is 12, three plus 12 is 15, yeah? I'm gonna speed things a little bit up now. This is six plus 16, six plus 16, that is 22. This is zero plus three, zero plus three is three, and zero plus four, that is going to be four. All right, so I have multiplied matrix A by matrix B, that is only possible if I look at the orders three by two times two by two, it's only possible if those middle numbers are the same. So the amount of columns in my first matrix should be the same as the amount of rows in my second matrix, yeah? And I go horizontally in my first one and vertically in the second one. Five times one plus two times three. Five times two plus two times four. Three times one plus four times three, okay, you see that? And you do that for everything, you get eventually, in this particular case, a three by two matrix as an answer. All right, two more videos with more examples, yeah, because this is something you have to practice, of course, yeah? There's nothing wrong with that. Don't expect these things, uh, to be able to do these things after five seconds. No, you have to practice. So I'm gonna see you at the next video.